Hello everybody and welcome to Enter the Gungeon, a farewell to arms. In the last episode we played as the Gunslinger and we went and fought the Double Lich yet again because obviously the Double Lich is quite fun and we uh, went and tried it out. But now we're going to be playing as Paradox heading in and we're basically just looking for these last few remaining items now. We've got to find uh, Turtle Trouble. Uh, we did start with the little skull thing here which is awesome. We started with the Vulcan Cannon and Gondromeda Strain. Oh shit, what a start. What a start. My god. Um... This is super cool. Uh, but um, we are going to be looking for Turtle Trouble, the Teapot. Actually, actually, we'll have a look. We've got that synergy left, but I believe we've got, out of items, I think it's just Turtle Trouble. But we've got the Trank Gun, which is a D tier, as I would imagine. I, I, I think it's D tier, is, is all I'm saying, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it will be. We've got the synergy that we need to get, um, which is a given. We've got Teapot. We've got this that we need to unlock, which I presume... Wait, what? The lowercase r doesn't have a picture. That's strange. Um, the um, that that I presume is the the finished gun, but it's going to be take us a while to get that. We have got the glass cannon to get as well. I keep forgetting about the glass cannon. Uh, so we've still got to find that. And then out of items is literally just turtle trouble. Turtle trouble is the only item we don't have yet that we haven't actually seen. It's all the way down here. There we go. It is turtle trouble there. So is it turtle problem? T it might be turtle problem. I'm going to call it turtle trouble. That sounds better. Uh. But we need to find that. And I really want to find that because my channel name is the Turtle Melon and I want to be a Turtle Herder. That would be really fun. So hopefully I can find that soon. But I love this little alternate skin for the uh, for the robot's weapon. It's so cool. It's so cool. I don't know if it does extra damage or anything. I don't know if there's any different stats on the uh, alternate weapons. I don't believe there is. It seems like it'd be a bit powerful if you were. I am killing stuff a lot faster though, and that is because of Gundromeda Strain. If you don't know what Gundromeda Strain does, is it um, lowers the base HP of every enemy in the game. So it's effectively a damage upgrade, but it also works on bosses, I believe. So we're getting like a damage upgrade across the board, which is really nice. Makes a lot of enemies a lot weaker. I think it's like 25% less HP, which is real nice. Real nice indeed. Uh, right, um, crossbow in there. Honestly, nothing we really want there at all, so we don't need to worry about that. I've learned as well, when you play in Paradox, your character model and uh, costume changes every time you roll. I thought it was just random, it's just every time you roll, which is cool. Um, we've got a chest there. We do have two keys already, so it's plausible we can open that. We want to be going for uh, for green chests more than anything. I've been mentioning this a lot lately, but we're going for that Magnum synergy, and it's going to be difficult to get that. So we really want to be trying to trying our hardest to find the Magnum. Along with brown chests as well, we kind of want to open them because we really want that Trank gun. Uh, that is another one that we're missing. But Trank, Trank gun and glass cannon, I think they will just they will just come as, as time goes. The synergy we actually need to gun for, we need to actually go for. <laughs> gun for, get it. But we, we do need to be... Uh, Trying our hardest to get that synergy because that is going to be one of the hardest things to pick up. I reckon Turtle Trouble is another one that will just happen with time. We've just got to wait. Uh, Glass Cannon, if we really want to get it, we could just do some rainbow um, rainbow runs and probably get it that way. And I'm going to try and sprinkle in a rainbow run maybe once every five runs, something along those lines. And that's that's going to be like a better way to do that. We'll open that straight away. This is the Serious Cannon. Uh, mainly because that was on a fuse. We might not be able to go to the Oubliette now, which would be a shame. I would, I would like to go to the Oubliette. Uh, but we'll have to see. I mean, actually, we're definitely will yet, so we haven't bought a key yet, have we? So, we'll definitely be able to go to the Oubliette. But we now got two pretty good boss killers in our back pocket. The Vulcan Cannon used to be kind of a bad boss killer because it used to hit the DPS cap so damn easily. Whereas now they've kind of sorted that problem out. So, we'll buy a key here and we'll see just how uh, how this boss fight goes. We, we should wreck this boss, but I'm more thinking of... Uh, oh, they've actually upped its base ammo as well, which is nice. I think before it was only 700. Um... I'm more thinking of uh, if we're going to get a key from this boss. That'd be really nice. It seems to have faster projectile speed than I remember too. Is that is that a thing? Oh my god. Oh my god. Gundromeda strain. Gundromeda strain and the boss DPS thing. Oh my god. That was so fast. Gundromeda strain plus the new DPS uh, boss cap change is awesome. Um, I'll take that. I might as well. It is cares because it's a melee weapon. All melee weapons are cares if you didn't know. Either way. Let's... Um, Let's keep going. That that was that was just carnage. Absolute carnage. Right. Did we open both our chests? Oh no, we just destroyed one, didn't we? What am I talking about? Just HP from both of those. Um unfortunately we can't get into our uh, thingy here. Actually. No, there's no other keys for sale. I was gonna say we could sell something and maybe buy a key, but there's no other keys for sale, so we can't really do that. 
Um, we'll just go down to our next floor. Honestly, the boxing glove is an item that I don't rank very highly. I think its risk is too high for its reward. You can get the the three knockout combo punches, which are fun, but I do I do feel like they're not quite power powerful enough. My controller's turned off. That's cool. Um, I do feel like they aren't quite powerful enough to to take cares for and, and risk getting hit because the thing is unlike the blasphemy um sword it, as a melee weapon it doesn't block any shots so you are getting in an enemy's faces with a high risk of getting hit uh, and the actual damage payoff from it is not much more than this gun here like you get that like i said if you get that triple ko thing your damage is going to be pretty insane you're gonna be able to one shot most things with that but with the actual damage of each hit it's not much more than the dps of this thing here and i'd much rather stay at a distance Stay safe and use no ammo. Right, let's take it for that. This is just a boss kill extraordinary. I don't even know when we're going to use the serious cannon, considering the absolute insane DPS of the Vulcan cannon. The the new Vulcan cannon is very, very nice. It's, it's, it's cool how they've basically buffed all of the really powerful items in the game. Like, it's not a buff that makes them super good in every aspect, but for boss killing, they've just made them that little bit better, which makes them feel more powerful. It makes s -tier weapons feel more s -tier, which is really nice. That's exactly what um, what everyone wanted from the boss cap change. Wanted it's, um, to get a, gu get a gun and just sometimes shred a boss. Absolutely shred it. Unfortunately, no thing here. Whoa. Oh, we got the Mimic Gun. Hey. Hello, Mimic Gun. The Mimic Gun is a very, very rare weapon you can get that basically, it just turns to a Mimic and any shot hit with a Mimic Gun uh, actually turns into a jammed shot, which is obviously risky as hell, uh, but it, it's like an unchanged, you can't change the weapon at all, it's stuck on you for, for a set amount of time, and then uh, it actually does okay damage, but it's stuck on you for a set amount of time, and then uh, it just disappears after a while, and changes back to the gun that you picked up. It's very strange, but it's, it's a cool little easter egg, and uh can't do anything about this, can we? Destroy it. Destroy it. Give me Junkin again. Nope. Yeah, it'll, it'll go away after a set amount of time. Normally just a few minutes, but it's a cool weapon. It'd be kind of cool if it was just a weapon you could get, like, from, from I'd say, C tier. Because it's, pr it's pretty decent damage, but the risk of it is pretty high. That'd be kind of cool to have as a normal weapon. It just increases your chance of getting hit by a jam shot here. There we go, we changed it back to normal, and uh, we can start using this thing again now. And start owning with us little, our little bones. I love the fact, I always thought the um, alternate weapon skins, ow. I always thought the alternate weapon skins were going to be literal just alternate skins, not change the way that they fire and their hit impact signs and everything like that. That's really cool, I'm glad they do. They, they put a lot more effort into them than I was expecting, which is, of course, always nice. Like the alternate skins don't really do anything to change the character's uh, like movement style or dodge roll effect or anything like that. God, I'm playing pretty bad here. Playing pretty bad. I need to kind of focus up a little more. I'm talking about too much random shit. I, I don't know. A lot of people seem to be disappointed with this update. Like, like oh my god, the uh, the gunslinger's past is so lazy. It's, it's, it is. I mean, in terms of, if you're thinking about the game as a whole, if you compare his past to another past, it is. It, it, it is just two liches. But, if you think about the update as a whole, it's free. It's an update that they really didn't have to release and even really didn't want to. Like, I'm not saying they didn't want to didn't want to uh, release it, but it's not something they wanted to be working on. They've said for a long time now that they want to leave Gungeon and it's coded in such a bad way that it's so difficult and time consuming to add new items and things to the game. That I think it's a good it's a good challenge to add to the game to sort of send it off. Now, it does it does slightly annoy me that you can only challenge it as the gunslinger. It really it really be better if you could try it as anyone because the gunslinger is always powerful enough to beat it if you're a decent player whereas if you're playing as like the convict or just a regular old character you're not going to have all those crazy synergies and stuff and you should be in a situation where it's actually a bit harder to complete uh but either way i i'm, I'm still thoroughly impressed and enjoy enjoying this update like i think it's great i think it's a, a definite good farewell to the game they've done a, they've done a stellar job Bit of a casing there. <laughs> Green chest there. We probably want to open that up. Um, unfortunately, we do have a locked. Uh, we do have a locked crest there, which is always sad to see. I would like the free armor piece without having to pay anything for it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, ugh, I knew I was gonna get hit there. I ran a bit too early. I ran a little too early there. Oh, what the hell? I didn't realize that explosion would deal damage. Right, now I need to kind of, I need to focus up because I'm taking way too much damage here. 
way too much damage. There you go. Might need to buy some HP. Ugh, buying HP? What am I? A, a, a Gungeon noob? Nah, to be fair, buying HP is always a good idea if you need to, but... It's, it's, it tends to be that as you get better, it, you you less you rely less and less on uh, on buying HP, so I tend to try to do that. I am going to munch these two, because for one, I don't want the cares, and for two, I don't need them. So I might as well go munch them and try and get something a little better. Or even just something a little different. doesn't specifically have to be better. We've got the flare gun, which is just, just worse, uh, but I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Let's go in here with a Vulcan cannon and wreck face. This thing shreds them. It's crazy how fast it kills bosses. It doesn't hit the DPS cap anywhere near as quick. I don't even think it hits the DPS cap at all, you know. I'm pretty sure it doesn't hit the DPS cap, and you're actually dealing full damage with this thing now, which is great. Making that a little more lenient. Yeah, it's definitely not hitting the DPS cap, because... Oh, uh, it actually, it does It does just about. You can see the boss. The boss's health bar. It was going down at a consistent rate and slightly slowed down. That was when it hit the DPS cap. But they definitely made it a lot more lenient, which is off. just awesome. We've got monster blood there. Nice. That is a HP upgrade. And uh, we'll go and open this chest here. What was our other chest? Did we open it? We did open it. Oh, backup gun. Lovely. With serious cannon, that's going to be awesome. We're, uh, we're going to use serious cannon for a little bit of room clearing now. Um, No, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to use Vulcan cannon for room clearing. I'm going to use the serious cannon for boss killing. Because now that we've fired two serious cannons every time, it's going to be just tickety boo. It's going to be very, very useful for us. Very good indeed. And we're going to be. We're going to be dealing damage in a, in a very beautiful way. Backup gun on this thing's not going to make too much of a difference. If we get something like orbiting bullets, though, it'd be pretty awesome. And if we're standing in the middle of like a crowded room where there's a lot of enemies, then it is going to make the difference. But for, for normal enemies and normal rooms, it's not going to make that big of a difference with having backup gun. But either way, I'm still, I'm still glad we have it, because like I said, it's going to make a real difference to serious cannon. Anything that bounces or anything that homes, uh, backup gun makes amazing. It was absolutely amazing, like crazy good. Another one of you? You not learn your lesson last time? You get one cycled. You don't even get to get one shot out hardly. Got the sling there as well. That's another one that's pretty good with backup gun for boss killing. Uh, although we don't particularly need it with the uh, stuff that we already have. So it might not be worth investing our money into that. I might even go to the rat fight because we've got enough money for that. If I remember, which I do forget to do everything on this game at the minute. I I'm just excited to be playing to playing all the new stuff still. Ooh. Hello, keyboy. Hello, Keyboy. The ammo efficiency on this thing's pretty good. How did I get hit there? The heck. Um, that'd be nice to get. That'd be very nice to get indeed. I knew that'd be that room. Um, we'll go in this boss room and absolutely destroy him with this thing. Watch, watch this. This is gonna melt him. Absolutely melt him. He's gonna be dead in like, yep, now. I was gonna say three, two, one, but he's already dead. Got the map as well, which helps. We can find our secret room. We've got a got a Brexit uh, a Brexit shrine over here. Very nice. Hello, Brexit shrine. Remain. Always remain, people. Always remain. Don't vote leave. Nah, I shouldn't be spreading my political views online, but I mean it's already out there. I've said a million. I've said my my dues on there uh, on the whole Brexit thing a million times before. But those of you that are new won't have heard me talk about it. The range on this thing's so good. And we got a free blue chest, which is not bad. Skull Splitter. Not bad at all. I will accept it. I'm actually going to um, do something a bit weird here. I'm going to use this for a little bit. Um, I'm going to do something a bit weird here and blank that and get that uh, key. I know it seems like a weird trade. I don't know. I think a blank for a key is a bit... Mm, but I'm going to do it just so we can open this brown chest. Oopsie. That's a wall. Don't walk into that. Nice. That explosion sorted everything out there for us. Again, Skull Split is pretty good with this because it does have herming, so any, any enemies that are near to our behind are going to get uh, hermed in on as well. Again, it's not the strongest herming, but it does it does help. So let's go and open this up. Go get this key. I'm going to open this chest. We've got the noose. Honestly, not that good. It's going to take us to the shop. Very low tier item, and it's actually... Actually... Hmm... It's been lowered to D tier. It originally was not D tier. That is awesome to know. It was it was C tier before, I believe. Um, and it definitely wasn't deserving of being C tier. So I'm glad they've lowered it down to D tier. I'm pretty sure that's the case anyways. Uh, there's actually a lot of uh, a lot of changes that happened in terms of balancing in this um, in this DLC. 
And I really, I'm really uh, hoping and waiting that someone gets them all documented fairly soon. Because I really want to make a video on uh, on all the different changes and all the different things to look out for and all the items that used to be bad that are now good sort of thing. But I've, I've just not got to that point yet. I wonder if this thing will be any better. I've got to go through our mini boss area to get to that. Um, we can get the skeleton key, unfortunately. We, we Unless we get one key from our boss, that would be nice. Um, I'm going to make sure I buy my uh, thingy key now. Our, uh, what's it called? Rat key now, because otherwise I'm going to forget. There you go. I forgot last time, so I know I'm going to forget this time. The sticky crossbow, I don't know. They might have upped the damage on it, maybe, but I think the sticky crossbow was already, or always a weapon that felt a bit left behind. Mainly because of its ammo more than anything, and they haven't done anything with that, so maybe they've increased its damage. Maybe they've done nothing with it. Okay, serious cannon should be really good against this guy, considering he moves around a lot. We should be able to hit him with each cannonball a few times before it dissipates. It's just so long to charge it up is the only thing. So, so long. Oh my god, it's destroying all his segments so quickly. We killed him with six shots. Holy damn. Holy hot damn. That's not bad. We get synergies. And we do have one of the synergies. Which one is it? Oh, it's the good one. It, it makes it herming with when you have monster blood. Which is very good indeed. Uh, we don't need to go to our rat floor. We did get a key. We did get a key. Cool. Let's go and get Shelton Key. Shelton Key is going to make every single um, every single chest in the game free to open and all locked doors free to open as well with the exchange of three curse. Three curse is quite high, but honestly, I handle my curse pretty well. I, I tend to actually go for curse up to about three or four on purpose, so I don't mind that considering we don't have any other curse. We got rid of the boxing glove, so let's get rid of that curse. But yeah, this with Herming is really good and we, are, we have got backup guns, so it's going to make it even better. Like if you see that, look. If I shoot backwards on purpose, we're going to be getting a decent amount of shots going for him. And obviously they poison as well. And with monster blood, we are immune to that poison. So we don't have to worry about it hurting us. It's just going to be an all-round an all -round good uh, good synergy here. I like it a lot. I think I think the shot grub was one of them items that everyone hated. Everyone thought it was trash until AG and D. And they added two really good synergies that are both pretty easy to get. Um, and it made it so much better. Like, it used to be such a trash weapon, and now it's so good. So now we don't we don't need keys for anything apart from buying stuff from Flint, the uh, the lock shop guy that we just bought the uh, Shelton key from. So we don't really need to be buying keys anymore, which is going to save us a bit of money in turn. But now we can just open this for free. Got the clown mask. Clown mask is pretty cool. Uh, I know the arc out there. If you're watching, which you probably are, um, one of my long-term subscribers in in my Discord, I have a I have a group of people called the Ancient Six, which are the like a group of people that have been supporting me since the very start and been the Discord since basically day one. Or at least like the first week, and uh, Ark is one of those, and he he's a pretty regular viewer, he watches most of my videos, uh, and yeah, he loves Payday 2. It's one of his favourite games, and I still haven't actually played it properly. I've like tried it once at a friend's house. I've tried Payday 1, and I wasn't a big fan, but Payday 2 is apparently a lot better, so I do need to get around to trying it at some point. It was really cool when they released the Payday 2 items. It was such a cool like little collaboration. I wish they did more of them before the uh, before they rolled out this update and. Uh, sort of cut ties. I know they're obviously still going to have to update the game, but yeah, I wish they'd have done more. This is the rat room, by the way. I did see a rat in the corner there. Yeah, there's another one up there, look. Yeah, another thing about the shot grub, it's very ammo efficient. Very ammo efficient indeed. Right, let's try and find the uh, the rat door. Basically, if you find try and find the rat room, move around like this, and you'll find a little area where your footsteps are bigger. Look, there's little, little poofy marks on this, and you just keep walking around until it reveals itself. And you jump down. As you can see, we unlocked that lock there without even using a key because of our Shelton key. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to do this now so I don't forget to use... Uh, so I don't accidentally use my blanks on the boss. I tend to do this a lot just to make sure that I behave. And also, I, I like to just fall off the map sometimes. That's always a good idea. Just, like, jump off. Bit of suicide is always good. A little bit of suicide to brighten up my day. Right, there you go. Got that sorted. Um... We have a thingy here as well, a chest here. We'll go around and get that. But we, I don't know, we have to go all the way around this way. Oh, well, we'll, we'll go around anyways. It's, it's free. We might as well. It's a free chest. Don't require any keys. Don't be a baby about it. It's only a short walk. Only a short walk. The Hyper Light Blaster. That's a that's a pretty good item. Pretty good item indeed. Uh, what were we using? What were we using? Shot Grub. Hey. Hey. Ho. I haven't been to our shop yet. Um, we can teleport to our shop whenever we want, but usually I don't even bother with it. 
The animation takes just as long as me finding the shop, so who gives a damn? Oh god, that was bad. Hey, thanks for that health back. And we'll take ammo for this little baby. This little beauty. Oh, really? Just, just, god damn, just walk into it, why don't I? Gotcha. Got me more enemies spawning here, hasn't there? Nope, that was it. One enemy and a hand. As you can see, it's like one-shotting most enemies. Most basic enemies is one-shotting, which is really nice. Very, very good synergy. I like it a lot. Got a shop around that way. Got a Mendy and Wendy as well. Doesn't look like we're going to need them, but it is nice to know that they're available for us. Ah. Yeah, even enemies that are poison immune, like the Mushrooms and the, uh, the D20s, still take a hefty beating from it. You can tell that the majority of the damage isn't coming from the poison. It's actually coming from the weapon itself. Which is always nice. Like, somewhat like the plunge, you're getting most of your damage out of the actual, uh, same with the Phoenix, you get most of the damage out of the actual status effect rather than the gun itself. So it's good to see that this one's actually dealing damage on its own. Um, silver bullets is a must buy in any situation where you see it. Uh, so I'll, I'll get that. And basically what silver bullets does is we now do, um, 375 something like that percent more damage to jammed enemies. So basically jammed enemies are now easier to kill than default enemies, which is awesome. Let's get this thing going. Hey, I charged that up. What the hell? I charged it up. What the heck? Uh, also, you get 25% increased damage to bosses too. I forgot about that. Eh. Die, bossy, bossy. Die, bossy, bossy. There you go. What are you going to give us? What's our reward? Big, big iron. Oh, I love it. Big iron's one of my favorite weapons. I, I absolutely adore the big iron. I think the big iron is one of them weapons that's like, it's default, but it's so good. It's like, it's very basic. It's not got any super cool, unique features. It doesn't do any weird shots. It's not super special and awesome, but it's just consistently good. And it has really good synergies as well. Like the, I forget what it's called. The, the big slug, I think it's called, the synergy. It turns it into a slug round that's explosive, that pierces. Just walk and just suicide it again. Just do it every single time. Yeah, it's lovely. Love it. Great. What a what a good way to start the day. God damn it. I'm a stupid. I'm a big stupid. But yeah, big iron. Top notch. I'm even doing hand signals for like the okay thing. Like, ooh, top notch. And none of you can see. <sighs> I feel dumb. Oh, let's, uh, let's fight the rat and have a good old time with it. Right, right. Up, up, left, left. That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, let's use a weapon that's uh, a bit easier taking these boys out. Probably this thing here. Right, right, up, up, left, left. Ah, one of them's one on me. That's right once. We might as well just use the Vulcan can the whole way, actually. Right. Right twice. Nice. Eh. Then up twice. I, I try to remind myself as much as possible because I always forget. And up another time here. What? Oh. Ah. And then left twice. It's the shotgun room. This one's like the most annoying room, especially when they're all jammed. Luckily, none of them are. Not that that matters because we've got silver bullets. And that should be us. Should be good. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Just fill that thing up. That's going to be our second phase thing. The Vulcan Cannon is going to be the first phase. We'll push this into the fight here. Makes things a little easier for us, just in case we get hit a lot. Can you push, heart? Heart, push. Push, 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 push. Push, 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 push. Push, push, push. There you go. Are you going to be jammed? I don't think you can be jammed yet. I think it's six chaos that you have to have before the enemies start being jammed. Bosses, sorry. Whit! Nah, I fucked that up completely, but I don't really care. Ow! You're so dead, dude. Just just die. There we go. See if we can get that heart back and then we're back to full health. We got it. Nice. It's invisible, but we got it. And then serious cannon this thing up is going to be the way to just wreck his face. I might even I might even like switch between this and the serious cannon in order to uh, like get both of them going at once. Sort of do that, and then fire another. 
And then use that while they bounce around a bit. And then fire another. And then switch back to that. And just get them both in tandem with one another. Dealing a lot and a lot of damage. Like, while the thing is reloading. The, the uh, cannon one is reloading. The three second passive reload. If you didn't know, weapons reload passively while in your back pocket. Uh, over the course of three seconds. And just do a bit of both. Oh, just, just, just stop it. You're gonna die, dude. Just accept it. I might as well just kill you here and now. Like, you're gonna die before this phase ends. There we go. Soldier. what I tell you? The shotgun dude's doing real good damage as well. Is it chains, that one? Oh, look at us. Paradox. It looks so cool. Oh, the gunslinger there. For, for one hit there. Oh, we, we switch every hit. Cool. Come on, you. Oh, stop doing this attack. Do one that's easier to, to block. The counter, I should say. Derringer. Oh, my God. Can't wait for that. Gotcha. Oh, I did that a little too early there. Didn't get the super. Come on, give me a super. Damn it, give me a super. Nah, I'm just gonna kill you. Don't care. Oh, we got the turtle. We got the turtle trouble. Oh, yes. Nice. Got him. Got him again. Come on, one more, one more. Damn it, I lost him, boy. Got another one back, though, so it's okay. Back, I lost it again. Gotcha. Oh, Mega Bullets is lovely. Love it. Great item to get. Oh, I'm better at getting that one now. I used to be terrible with that one, but I'm getting a bit better. Yes. Doing well here. Come on. Boom. Gotcha. Oh, we got Blasphemy? Strange. Very rarely get Blasphemy on a non-thingy uh, run. I'll take it, though. I'll take it. Hey, hey, hey. Give me that. That. that, 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 that. Give me my Turtle Trouble. Turtle Trouble. Oh, wait. We have a Synergy with Turtle Trouble? Or do we have a Synergy with Blasphemy? Oh, Shell a Ton. I'm going to have to see what that does. Um, let's go have a look-see. Shell a Ton. I do have a, a tab open for searching up synergies. Um, shell. Shelaton key. Oh shit! It's not. It's not there yet. It's not. It's not written down. Um, let's let's search. Uh, baby, what's his name? Baby, good shell. It, it, oh, the synergy isn't listed yet. We've got. Uh, we've got an unknown synergy. It's unlisted. Let's uh, let's try out using. What should we use? What shall we use? Vulcan cannon will make us the rest of the way. There's Derringer there. I did forget it, but I mean, does anyone really care? Does anyone really care? Oh, of course, you're a mimic. There you go. You're dead. Rat boots. Yay. Make sure that one's not mimic. All I want those rat boots. Don't care about those rat, rat items. They're too powerful. They're too strong, damn it. Too strong. Onto the fourth floor. And we got our little turtle buddies. Oh, yes. And like I said, we've got this synergy as well, which is completely unknown to us. It's not listed at all on the uh, on the Wikipedia. So we are in we are un, in un, uncharted territories with this synergy. It could be amazing. We might not even notice it. It seems the beam is thicker, whatever it is. It seems a lot faster as well. The beam seems thicker from last time. He seems just genuinely more powerful. Maybe it's gonna maybe that's placebo. Maybe it's gonna have something to do with when I unlock things. Just with the shellaton key. Who knows? Shellaton. Hmm. Yeah, the wiki still isn't completely filled out yet, it's still uh, waiting. By the way, the turtle uh, the turtle trouble, we haven't actually looked at the Amanomicon entry for that. I believe what that does is every time we complete a room we get a turtle. Attracts normal turtles. You've just inherited a big problem. <laughs> um, so I'm pretty sure, like every time we, every time we complete a room, we just get another turtle, and they block bullets. But if they, if they take too much damage, they die. 
which is super sad to hear. But yeah, we just get a nice little herd of turtles. And we're off, like a herd of turtles. Hey, hey, chest. Nice. I'll take it. I will take it every time. I am going to keep using this thing, though, because it's crazy. All of our turtles, they're so cute. <laughs> Come on, my little minions. Fly with me. They definitely seem to have a thicker beam than I remember. Thicker beam than I remember him having, definitely. Good just be placebo, like I said. Come on, turtles. Let's go. My little turtle squad. I love them. I don't think they do much, but I love them. Ow. I think they added the, uh, I think they added it into the game as like a meme. It doesn't really do anything, but it's just, it's just there to have turtles. I'm pretty sure there was a, there was a promotional shot where, <clears throat> where you could see all these little turtles and he had the shell gun uh, baby mimic thing, so I'm, uh, I'm happy that I've now got that, uh, that set up. Hey, hey, hey. Shop man. How you be living? I'll be on my way. So we're super close to um to 100% now. We're like we're like three guns away. Um, teapot, glass cannon, uh, four teapot, glass cannon, and the um, trank gun, along with the synergy. So three guns and one synergy away, and then we've got 100%. Hopefully, they'll come to us soon. Maybe I'll just do a few uh, rainbow runs next and see if we can get it off of that. This is, that seems like a decent way to see uh, to see new items, especially like the glass cannons. It seems like a good way to see that. I don't know what uh, what tier the um, the teapot is, so I don't know if that'll show up in rainbow chests. But if it does, that'd be a good way to see it too. More ammo. Wait, where's all my turtles? Oh, they're all on there. Come on, turtles. I know you're relaxing, chilling. You need to come along. Don't you dare kill more of my turtles. They are sacred to me. They should be worshipped. They like swimming in my poison. No! So many turtle, turtle deaths. <sighs> oh wait, we got nano machine synergy there. What was it with? Ah, steel skin, okay. Got our boss here. Probably just use this. This will be pretty wreck fest, unless it's the kill pillars. Actually, this will go through him as well, so I might as well just use this for a bit. God damn. My Shelly boy is doing good. Very good indeed. Oh my god, it's good. It's real good, boy. Nice. The boss kills are coming fast and quick. It's crazy. Fast and quick. To the next floor. Come on, turtles. How many is there with you? Just one? Oh, shit. I forgot to go to that room. I think that was just the SL creep you'd do. Oh, just one turtle left. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just one turtle remains. One singular turtle remains. So sad. So sad. This is such a good run. I can't believe we started with Vulcan Cannon Gondromeda train. What a great start. What a start, boy. Completely blessed. Ah! These guys, these turtles are going to be dying left, right, and center is the only thing, because they're going to be taking a lot of damage, considering the, uh, the difficulty of this floor. Do not kill a turtle. I'll kill you, and I'll kill your family, and I'll kill your dad. You can kill a turtle. It's annoying that they can die to traps as well. Like they shouldn't be able to die to traps. I want to build up my army. I want 50 of them. There should be a no hit turtle run. Ooh, I'll open that. The loot. Does it buff the turtles? It does! Hey! Minion run only. Minion run only. <laughs> Don't you dare kill all my turtles. 
It killed two of them. You bastard. I am the bard. Ow. <laughs> That's pretty fun. I like that. That's pretty fun. Gilded bullets. That's not bad. Decent damage upgrade. Fairly decent. Fairly decent. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh my god. Oh damn, we're getting crazy damage now. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I bet the hammer can kill the turtles. That'd be so sad. Come on, turtles. Let's go. Got our boss here. We still need to find a blacksmith and a chest as well. Still got two things to find. Don't you worry. Got more time to build up some turtles. Although they're all going to die to the dragon, I reckon. It'd be cool if you got like a speed boost for every turtle you had or something stupid like that. Ah, fuck. I don't actually know if there is any, is, is any actual benefit to them. Apart from them blocking bullets. Oh wait, no, don't, don't launch the Vulcan cannon. Bad idea. Use the shot group. The shot group's good, remember. Death, don't get homed onto. God's sake. Ruining everything, death. Turtles, please, stop throwing your bodies in front of things. <laughs> it's so sad. Every time I see a turtle die, part of me dies. I'm gonna name every single one of them. More ammo. Vulcan cannon. Away. It's my starter weapon. I have to use it as much as possible. Eh. Keep her going. Keep her going. I wonder if Baby Good Mimic was just copy one of the turtles. You just get two turtles in a room. That'd be great. There's more and more turtles. I'd love that. No turtle army. This is a her terrible room for my turtles. Stay away, stay away. You back away, you evil heathens. Every single time a grenade gets near them. My heart. My poor heart. Nice. Don't grab one of my turtles either. That'd be very racist. I tend to a gun, but uh, my boy just killed him straight away, which is nice. The judge. Decent. Don't really need it, but it's decent. Come on, turtles. Let's do it. Oh my god, I forgot I had uh, silver bullets. Just wrecked that guy. Ah! No! Turtles, stay away! You're taking too much damage. Hey, hey, hey! Look at them all. I love them. Each and every one of them. Right, let's get to our boss. Serious Cannon, it's your time to mope and shine. And Turtles, you stay back in the corner and say stay, stay safe. Say, stay safe. I don't want you getting hurt. Stand back, Turtles. No. I love you and I miss you. Oh my god. Poor little Turtles. I feel so bad for them little tykes. Ow. Why did you hit me? Why? That was uncalled for and racist. Right, now can we get the rest of the uh, heart done with just Vulcan Cannon? Who knows? I mean, all but one of my turtles did die. Oh no, three. We've got three, but this is definitely going to kill those turtles. Goodbye, my lovers. Goodbye, my friends. You have been the ones. You have been the ones for me. Oh yeah, this is gonna kill the heart. This is gonna one cycle. Bruder. That is a that is a spicy one cycle right there. Right, let's uh let's go over to here, see if we can buy some ammo. I don't think we can. Oh we can, cool. We'll buy some ammo for this thing and we'll just be on our way. And build up some more turtles. Building up that turtle army. That turtle army. To bullet hell we go. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a very turtle-centric episode. Like, I'm going to have to name all these episodes. God damn. I'm just thinking back on this now. I've recorded like six today already. Um, and oh my god. What am I going to name all these? I have to like watch back through them to see what happened and remember. And then name them based on the items I get. Awesome. Try and do a pun. And it's, it's, always, it's always so difficult. 
I'm trying, trying to do one as well, especially when it's items I've had before, but with a name that I haven't used before. Difficult stuff. The life of a YouTuber. I won't, go, I won't exactly call myself a YouTuber, I still work full time um, elsewhere. Yay, we got a turtle. Oh yeah, boy. Yeah, turtle's gonna be dying left, right, and center though here, so do have to be, do have to be prepared to be the big sad. Especially with the shot grubs in the house. I don't see any dead bodies. I don't see any dead turtles. I'm feeling good. I'm literally gonna check at the end of every room. Is there a dead turtle somewhere? Oh, another turtle gets added to our squad. Turtle melons, little turtles. Love them. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. No, don't run into that, thank god, turtles. You know what you're doing. You're very smart. I shouldn't ever doubt you, my children. <laughs> Once you reach the lich, it's just all like, if you, if you manage to beat the lich with like a few left, it's just all like form into one massive turtle and just like fucking punch the lich to death at the end. <laughs> that would be great. That'd be cool if like, if you collected a certain amount, they grew into a super space turtle. That'd be cool. Like you collect 10 and then they grow into a super space turtle and you just keep collecting them as long as you try and keep them alive. That'd be so cool. A lot of them are going to die here. A lot of them are going to die here. I can hear them all dying, actually. Yeah, I lost like five there. This isn't going to be the right way. I'm going to try it anyways. Because I'm a risk taker, motherfucker. I pushed into the pit. Don't you harm my turtles. I'm just trying to bring them safe passage. Back to the back to the breach. We get, uh, when we get kicked out of the tower and thrown into the water, I'm just trying to get him into the into the water, where they feel most comfortable. We got lost in here. I've been here for months. The mother has abandoned them. I'm just trying to trying to herd them back to shore. Why do you have to be so mean? To my poor turtles. Nice ammo drop there. That's well timed. No, turtles! Don't fall for it. He's evil. Hey, we found the boss. This is for this phase. Cannon, uh, the cannon is for the next phase. Oh my god, the damage is insane. Damage is insane. Turtles! Why? We've got two left. I'm bringing these two with me, Lich. I'm bringing this one with me, Lich. You. You thought you could stop me. We have two turtles now. I will, I will protect you. I want to pet it. Let me pet it. I will protect these turtles. You cannot, you cannot stop me. Imagine this with health bars, seeing all the t t turtles health bars. That gets so annoying. Right, let's get, let's get the um, cannonball going. No, don't do it. Turtle, no. He's still alive. He's, he's doing it. Don't no turtle no! <laughs> God damn it, turtle! Just need to be safer. Don't take risks. Damn it! Oh, we got one. We got one back. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> no, this is the saddest thing I've ever seen. Oh, every single time with this bullshit. Ow. Does it, does it look like I give a fuck, Lich? No, it does not. Ha ha ha. You are done. What an easy but fantastic run. Paradox start was 10 out of 10, and we got Turtle Trouble as well, which again, 10 out of 10. Uh, only a few items off 100% uh, off now, and I'm looking forward to getting them. Very much so. Very much so. Right, let's um, let's try our hardest to do a do a nice little rainbow run, a nice little rainbow run in the next episode, and try and get a paradox rainbow run where we get the Magnum synergy. 
I, I will do it. Right, back to the breach. I hope you guys enjoyed this run. A nice little turtle trouble adventure. Um, and yeah, it was it was very fun. I liked it a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Wow.